This is James Archer from 40, and I wanted to take a minute to walk you through some examples of our recent UI and UX work. A typical UI UX project usually starts with the client who takes some time beforehand to put together some technical or functional specs describing what they want built. The client will then take those functional specs and bring them to a UI UX designer who will then create wireframes to explain how to best put those functions together into an interface that's efficient and easy for the user. And that then gets translated into the actual design of the interface. This all sounds very reasonable, but this process isn't good enough. UI UX work should start with the people who will be using the system, not with the functional specs that the client wants to see in them. On these kinds of projects, it's common for the interface to be driven by the functionality rather than by the user's needs and wants. To really create a powerful interface, you have to rethink it from the user's point of view, setting aside whatever functionality has already been created or is currently in the development pipeline. As an example, we were recently asked to design a video news site for a major church denomination. The specifications we were given included all the usual things you would expect, such as a full video player, the ability to comment on videos, social media sharing tools, links to past episodes, and so on. However, as we began researching the users of the site and learned more about them, we began to get a different picture of what they really wanted to interact with. All this functionality that was in the specification are things that could be readily found elsewhere, and we wanted to create a new experience for them that really provided value for this website. So we put together an interface that included all that basic functionality, but also included a couple new features that they weren't expecting. Specifically, we included an interface that allowed the users to indicate their emotional responses to the videos. With this kind of functionality in place, Users on the site could actually browse based on the kinds of emotions they were interested in, providing an all-new experience that really gave value to this particular news site. We were also responsible for developing the web strategy for John McCain's Senate re-election campaign. As you can see, we put a lot of thought and effort into working through the details of how the site was going to be structured to represent his message. A key strategy that we developed was that we wanted the site to be about the constituents, not about John McCain himself. Instead of having the candidate himself speaking about his views on the issues, we decided to showcase photos and videos of actual constituents describing the issues that they were facing. It put the people first and John McCain second. The issues detail page that we developed hardly talks about John McCain. It describes the issues that constituents were facing in his state, and then down toward the bottom, visually deprioritized, were John McCain's own comments and thoughts. This was evident in the actual visual design of the page, which doesn't even mention John McCain until toward the bottom. Another key step that we take in our UI UX design is to think through the whole experience, not just individual pages. It's very easy to get wrapped up in the idea of designing a single page, but we try to put ourselves in the shoes of the user and think through the entire flow rather than just individual pages. By thinking through the entire flow, we have more control over the emotional experience that people have as they use the system. Another key approach we use is to take advantage of design conventions to create visual priority, showing the reader what's important and what they need to focus on. This is a project we did for Interface Technical Training, a company that had a particularly complex training schedule that they needed their users to understand clearly. From a functional perspective, their old page did everything it needed to. It had categories, titles, dates, descriptions, codes, everything that the functional spec required. The problem here was that there was very little visual priority given from a design perspective that would help the user understand and process the information on this page. We completely redesigned it using color, typography, and other design conventions to create a very clear and simple visual priority. The information is now much easier to process and students experience much less frustration trying to register for classes. Beyond organizing the content that's already there, we also look for opportunities to streamline and simplify the interface. We're currently doing UI UX work for a project called My Security Hub, which enables residential and commercial security companies to provide a self-service web portal for their customers. One of the issues that we were facing was that a single customer can have multiple properties. The original idea was to add another field to the login form so that after they entered their login and password, they would also be asked to indicate which property they wanted to load. Because the majority of users only have a single property, however, our concern was that this would add unnecessary confusion and additional steps for users. 
So instead we work with the developer to build a system that only prompts users who have multiple properties to select one. For users with single properties, it simply stays out of the way. They never even know that functionality exists. Whenever possible, we try and reduce the amount of confusion and the number of steps that users have to go through to accomplish their goals. One aspect of UI UX design that's often neglected is the idea of embedding the brand into the design. The interfaces don't always tie back to the overall philosophies and approaches of the brand. At 40, we believe every customer touch point should derive from the foundation of the brand, and so even our UI UX design is based on those philosophies. This website is pretty typical of what off-site airport parking company websites look like. We were recently approached by Blue Sky Airport Parking, a startup that wanted to create a full, refreshing experience for their customers. Once we established the foundation of their brand, we use those principles to drive every aspect of the UI UX design. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, we took their pricing calculator, which was sometimes complicated to understand, and translated the results into plain English so that anyone could process what was going on. It took a fair amount of effort and wasn't included in the original functional spec, but it was necessary to ensure that the UI UX of the website was consistent with the brand. Perhaps one of the most distinctive features of our UI UX design process is the emphasis that we give to the verbal side of the project. We believe it's truly important to design with words, not just with pictures. Jacob Bromwell, founded in 1819, is one of the oldest companies in the United States. So for this redesign we did of their e-commerce site, we included little verbal cues that reminded people of their authentic, rustic, pioneer heritage. On the Blue Sky Airport parking site we talked about before, we focused on more than just getting people through the process. We also took great care with the language that we used to ensure that we were setting a clear emotional tone as they browsed the site. While we can't show you examples of some of our more prominent projects, we have done UI UX work for some fairly prominent clients, including Microsoft, Motorola, and Monster.com. We've also done work for the Arizona Republic and Digital Realty, which is the largest provider of wholesale data centers in the world. These companies and many others came to us specifically for our expertise in UI UX design. So why should you hire 40 for this kind of work? We see the big picture. We look beyond the functional specs. We look beyond what you're asking us for. And we work on solving the underlying issues that most people don't see. We put humans before functional specs. Our priority is to put ourselves in the shoes of the users of the system to make sure that we understand where they're coming from and what they need. Our focus goes beyond just efficiency and usability to include crafting a specific, compelling emotional experience for the users. In many cases, our clients have told us that we've solved problems that they didn't even realize they had. Our approach to thinking through whole systems enables us to find patterns and trends that other people miss. Even clients that come to us with wireframes already done usually wind up going back to the drawing board after we point out issues they hadn't thought of. And perhaps most importantly, we take this work seriously. We're passionate about what we do and we consider this our craft. We're self-motivated to get these things right. We're not trying to win awards or impress clients. We're trying to do right by the users of the systems we're designing. If they're happy, we're happy. So that's a quick overview of UI UX design at 40. We'd love an opportunity to work with you, and if you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks.